clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. I don't need nobody, only fuck with niggas from around my way, fuck how you feel about it I don't know who's stepping for my section, but they still trying to block it Had to throw the hate up on my necklace, bitch, I'm trying to stop it, bitch I don't even wash my clothes, I ain't never folded Had to wipe a nigga nose Team Black got to stand up, man Yo yeah. Alright, y'all, so y'all see what we been doing lately, man I guess we gonna see what's up with this tea we got going today, man And I'm seeing Clarence decided to propose to Queen Fam, I hope what you're doing is because you really want to do it and you're not doing it because Chris, little crazy ass, is on the other side, damn near forcing you to do it, fam. Do it because you really want to do it, fam. And don't let fam get you into something that you wasn't prepared for, bro. Just don't be peer pressured to, into anything by anybody, bro. Skate. Okay? Clarence, if you see this, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just a, a real deal coincidence that right after. Chris went on this rant on social media and now y'all getting married. You feel me? Now the proposal happened. It's, it's just the timing is kind of crazy. You feel me? But if you been planning to do it, okay, that's what's up. But if you feel like you was rushed into the timing, reverse a little bit, brother. Back up. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. You feel me? But hey, do whatever suits you. You feel me? Without further ado, let's get to the video though. That Funny Mike and Jalea may have broken up for good this time. Now, Again? Funny Mike has been posting videos and photos of his new penthouse. Now, not only did he rent out a penthouse, he also already started to do custom murals on the wall and bring in all of his decor. Right, day one penthouse decoration. All right, check it out, man. You know. Hey, look, we got the chrome hoard up. See? You see the pillars. Man, we going two birds on them, man. Ooh. Got that boy friend, took that boy money bag, man. What'd you say? Took that boy money bag, yeah. Man. You got, <laughs> hey, stand right there. Hey, Show him how tall it is. Ooh, you got that money bag, huh? I'll tell you what, drop it on your own. So are we automatically assuming they broke up because he got a penthouse? Because if so, I don't think that's accurate reasons just to automatically assume that it's over with. Oh, yeah, man, day one. Up, of my man. penthouse decorating man this just this this just day one penthouse look high as hell like, though everything else empty now it's definitely giving bachelor pad vibe so it appears that he may have moved out of the home that he shared with Jalea. i don't think it's giving bachelor vibes i think it's giving uh this could be another work spot vibes another business vibes but hold up i think Jalea wrote something. What'd she say? I truly can't believe this shit, but then again, I can. Hold up now. Nah. Okay, we get somewhere. Now, Jalea went on to Twitter and stated, I truly can't believe this ish, but then again, I can. Now, Funny Mike and Jalea aren't new to this whole breaking up thing. You know, in the past, they were breaking up and getting back together a lot, but it seemed to calm down for a little bit after they had the third child, but... Seems like things still aren't working out. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey. Now, you guys know Damn. Corey is dating Big Bake Danny. And a lot of people want to know, what exactly does Danny see in Corey? After all of the things that have been popping off on the internet about him, they're wondering, why is Danny actually giving Corey a shot? What the hell is wrong with y'all people? You feel me? Now, let's all remember, Corey, he do be doing some wild ass shit though. You feel me? Just off of what he say. I can't say necessarily what he physically do as wild, but certain stuff he say in certain situations he allowed to happen just make him wild to me in my head. You feel me? But I don't think that's going to lead me to go to the net and ask the girl he's dealing with right now, what are you seeing him? Why would you even talk to him? But that sound like some weird, awkward, hating, slow, crazy, goof ass shit to ask somebody. I know. Obviously, she's doing it because she wants to do it. Isn't that why you deal with somebody in the first place? Y'all trying to talk her out of it? It's crazy work to me. Who the hell y'all work with? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just awkward as hell. Only thing we could do is really sit back and see what the hell happened. Really ain't nothing else you could do but just watch and see see how it play out, fam. Cause we don't know for a fact about anything. Even though it looks factual as hell. But Carmen, she wasn't too good either. Sorry to break and bust your bubble. Carmen was not the best of person as well, fam. Both of they had were dealing with each other and both of they had were doing some no shit apparently. You hear me? But y'all is tripping. Danny's response. Yeah, my man closet. He's closet. 
his clothes look so much better than mine, I swear. Like, you ought to see his closet at the condo. The closet at the condo is so fucking full. Then he brings 20 bags of shoes over here. Damn, that boy. Yeah. Closet like a damn now shoe store. His clothes store. really look better than mine. And I'm, I'm really hating on him. I can't wait to get mad at him and throw all these shoes down and throw all these clothes down and all that kind of stuff. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. See, y'all worry so much about her getting screwed over, but y'all not worried about Curry getting screwed over. It's a couple things I done seen happen so far that sh should make us worry about Curry. He ain't got his glasses smacked off. He be talked to all type of crazy ways. I could have sworn I even see this man folding clothes. On gangster folding clothes, fam. Wow. And y'all worry about her? She just said she can't wait to throw all her clothes now and shoes. Y'all should be worried about Curry at this point. For real. He is a real neat freak. Like, and y'all tell my son why I love Corey. Like, Corey is the type of guy, he's a man, man. He helps around the house. He gonna, like, he gonna do a lot of stuff. Like, I can just be doing my, my work all day. He gonna, he gonna do what he gotta do. You can say he a country nigga. He's from where I'm from, almost. So, I'm from Mississippi. He's from Alabama. So, he's a real man, man. He's gonna make sure... Either he gonna cut the grass or the lawn okay. service. He gonna contact them to come cut the grass. Either he gonna wash the cars or he gonna call somebody okay. to wash the cars. Okay. I thought you was saying he was, you know what I'm saying, cleaning all the dishes, doing all the lot. You know what I'm saying? But okay, it's making sense. It's adding up. You feel me? And I like the way she's showing her man all the love she can while y'all talking down on him. You feel me? Like, 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 you feel me? Like he ain't doing what's supposed to been done and he ain't giving what's supposed to been gave. If you did what I'm saying. He's going to wash out the garbage can. He going to make sure my closet is together. He's going to make sure his closet is together. He's going to vacuum. He gonna, he, he's going to do anything that he can to make my day much easier. So, yeah. But enough of these hoes, y'all. That real. I posted my tax class today. The, the tax class, it was two ninety seven for a month and a half, y'all. This session is gone. It's so now, also a few days ago when Zoe was on live, people were asking him, you know, what's up with you and Corey? And Zoe stated that he's no longer cool with Corey, which is very surprising. Why Corey mad at you? Corey? <laughs> and girl, I'm not worried about Corey no more. Corey and I, we are no longer friends. So let's just not talk about me and Corey because... Yeah, Corey is just. Why is he moving like that? Lock in, grabbing stuff. Fix your arms, fam. Fix them damn arms, boy. Keep your arms straight down, fam. Why you gotta keep your arms like this 24 7, fam? Put those bitches down, fam. What's wrong with you? And we don't care why y'all ain't cool no more. Cause probably he ain't tooted over. That's why y'all probably ain't cool no more. Hey, you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the one that said. I knew that friendship wasn't friendship and for real. He was down there just being cool with your ass so you could speak good about him on your little channel and all the tea don't end up being bad on his side. You feel me? And once you started switching over and making tea look bad on his side, he said, forget you. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like him anymore. You know, sometimes you can be in a man's corner and... Hi -hi. Help him out, How? love him, and give him How? your all. Your all. And then he just goes and oh my gives God. it all to somebody else, you know? So I just... What? I know you motherfucking lying. I know you lying. I know this zest that boy ain't think y'all finna be in a relationship or something like that. Hey, why you talking like that? He goes and gives all to somebody else. Why the hell would you even say that? What were you expecting out of y'all friendship? Hold up, what the hell going on? But I'm about to lose it in it, mug. I know you lying. I say fuck it. <laughs> I say fuck it. What? I wake up, I text him good morning. I say, how you doing? He texts me good morning. Then he goes and he spends his day with a girl who rents out of a mansion. You know, I don't know. Who does that? <laughs> I just don't understand Corey anymore. I thought we were better than that. But. What the hell? He 
he supposed to spend time with Joe? Extra Skittle eating ass instead of his girl? It's crazy. What the hell? Wow. Then why I say it'd be difficult to be cool with folks who sway the other way, because then they go to expecting all type of extra stuff. Extra treatment. Okay, the good morning test is enough, my dude. You sending me good morning too much. You sending me good morning before my girlfriend sent me good morning. And you send it every day at the same time. We friends, fam. You going too far. Yeah, Corey had to, he had to take steps back because, like, hold up, good news about him was not worth whatever the hell you had up your sleeve. It wasn't worth it. So now Clarence recently posted Crazy. up a photo on Snapchat with Queen holding a bride to be signed. Now, okay. A couple of days ago, Queen posted a photo in a hat that stated bride to be. Now she's holding up the sign and Clarence is posting it. So now, of course, this had all of the blogs talking because everyone wanted to know if Clarence actually proposed to Queen on that trip to Mexico. Now oh, that's how y'all seen right now? Her holding up a bride to be signed? Oh yeah, they definitely trolling. Okay, I'm glad they not letting the net get to them because Obviously, Chris trying to get to them, and hopefully they don't let it happen. So I think they're both just trolling, but it could be true. I mean, he could have proposed and just not telling anyone, but people are taking this as Clarence is being forced to marry Queen. The comments in the shade room were saying things like, not y'all bullied him into proposing. And another one states, I don't think it's genuine. We bullied him to proposing. Another person says, I hope they didn't let the internet bully them into marriage. Other people were saying things like, it's giving here, yeah. damn, damn, I love this <laughs> girl. Another person states, I wouldn't want the ring after that, to be honest. Nah, Another one states, here, damn, as ring. So now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. I ain't seen no ring though, y'all. Clarence cannot do any right here. If he doesn't propose, everyone is going to oh, be shit. asking him he do when propose. is he going to he propose. And if he does propose, then people are going to be just stating you just to propose. So what does Clarence actually do here? Now at this point, even if he was going to propose to Queen soon, he's probably not anymore. He's probably going to wait to all of this dies down and then he's gonna pop the question but even then i'm thinking he's gonna be getting hate from it because people are gonna be like wow it took you that long to propose so at this point i'm hoping clarence is just doing what's best for them and proposing whenever he's ready whether that's next month next week or whenever and just forgetting about what the internet is gonna have to say about all this all right y'all Y'all heard how I feel about these situations. Now I want to know how y'all feel about them. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me catch y'all next video.